Prosecutors say former Montebello police officer Rudolph Peterson admits to taking several cash bribes from a gang member and drug trafficker. Federal prosecutors say a drug trafficker told Peterson he would put him on his payroll in mid-2018. Then in December of that year, Peterson accepted $10,000 to escort a U-Haul truck with illegally grown marijuana from Fontana to a location near Rowland Heights. According to the plea agreement, he also admits to accessing law enforcement databases to find information on a person who helped law enforcement intercept a cocaine shipment. He faces up to 10 years in prison when sentenced. Now the FBI then had that damn cop in there like it was a menace. Now you know you done fucked up, boy. You know you done fucked up. You out here partnering up with gang members. Got you on the payroll, doing dirty work, looking in the damn database, Pulling information and intel on people, man. This is the type of shit. This ain't just no shit about being happy that the cop was caught with this. There's a lot of officers pulling this type of bullshit. A lot of these officers. You already seen the woman in damn prison up there pulling her pants down, bending over, getting banged out through a jail cell, and turn over information. It ain't just the women doing that. It's a lot of these suckified cops. You see so much across this country, if you paid attention to the news, of the ill shit that goes down these police departments that they try to hide in the dark. It just so happens that fortunately, some of this stuff is picked up by media, but there's a lot of that. And there's a lot of stuff that people pull up about what officers are out here in the streets doing to them. The harassments, the planning of things by rogue officers being put on them to face them with criminal charges because maybe they getting some call from some other big time shot caller someone with the pockets to be able to put a cop up on the payroll to doing about ill ill deeds, ill works. They have supervisors as part of these plots and plans. We can already hear the stories what Reggie Ryden was doing when he was a cop, his other homies. There's a lot of that that goes on. So this ain't just no one-off case with this Montebello police officer. There's a lot of that popping across this country. There's many people on here. Hell, some of my folks I, I grew up knowing who may have experienced some of that, but will probably keep it to themselves, but they have experienced that and have talked about the harassments they have experienced from these ill cops. And this ain't just no one-off situation. It's a common thing, especially in cities that are predominantly black, predominantly Latino, and even in some lower-income white areas, you have cops that do that to 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 folks like them who have experienced that. But this one was some way out ish and who knows what he has done to people who he was getting orders from the guy who was putting him up under the payroll. But to do the transport, look out, the ten thou. I mean, damn, and now his whole life is effed up. And he's looking at ten years, falling from grace, and going to the department, doing that kind of work. And now he got a federal charge hanging over him. Cause you know the feds got a built up case and it's trunk tight. He ain't getting away from this. And his best bet is to just accept it like he did, pleaded guilty. Look, he came out the gate not trying to fight that. Like, let me get that 10. And I'll sit behind there easily and take that because I'm effed. I'm effed up big time. But uh, this is what draws people into one to go about the restructuring the police departments because there's a lot of this ish that goes on. And then it takes 10 years before it comes to light from some investigation from the feds or internal investigations after people then experience these 10 years that have impacted them in many ways. There, there's many sufferings that people are impacted by when cops are doing this. Financial impactments, criminal impactments. So socially, where can they go? What benefits can they draw? They have these certain charges that hang up under them that are the umbrellas that steer them away from resources, opportunities that are taken away, time lost from family. There's a lot that goes to cops that do this. 10 years from that cop is a slap on wrist. He should be given 20 years because if any person in society conducts themselves in that way, they're going to wait for a very long time. So this is a person that knows the laws, that has went through county, state, whatever agency works for, high-funded training, to be out here doing criminal shit when he's supposed to be deterring it and also preventing it, preventing it, stopping it, 
in executing whatever laws to punish people for doing that. So he should be punished to the fullest extent of that goddamn law. Ain't no dang slaps on the wrist for that kind of ish. But that's all I got. Catch you on the next. Peace.